All right, folks, two weeks ago, we'll tell you about the outrage over comments by L.A. radio talk show host Bill Handel about Florida Congresswoman Frederica Wilson after he, after she publicly ripped Donald Trump for insensitive remarks to the widow of Sergeant LaDavid Johnson killed during a mission in Niger. Here is Handel's original comment during a conversation with a political strategist. Just, she's a cheap, sleazy uh, Democrat whore is what she is. Okay. Oh, no, Whoa. excuse me. I'm being too generous to her. Uh, I would say she's a sleazy politician. But yeah, uh, it, I mean, Oh, I would it, add the word uh, whore. Uh, and there's uh, a few uh, other words uh, I can throw uh, in there. Now, not only did Handel refuse to apologize, he doubled down saying he should have referred to Congresswoman Wilson as a, quote, media whore, and that race had nothing to do with his comments. Yet on Thursday, Handel, and this is, he was singing a different tune. A couple of weeks ago, I was on the air discussing the issue between President Trump and Congresswoman Frederica Wilson surrounding the death of Sergeant Johnson and at the call that was made to his widow. In discussing this, I made an inappropriate and offensive remark about Representative Wilson. While I later attempted to explain that I had misspoken, it wasn't the context. I understand it was the very word itself that I used that was offensive. And despite the fact that it was never intended to be gender specific, it's a term that should not be used on KFI in any context in relation to any woman. I'd like to apologize to Representative Wilson for using that word in relation to her. Now, it's no secret that I disagree with the president on numerous issues, but the one thing that really troubles me the most is he never admits when he's wrong. I don't want to be that guy. I've personally reached out to Representative Wilson, and I look forward to talking to her soon so I can apologize to her directly. And I appreciate hearing from those of you who reached out to let me know how you felt. <laughs> um, BS. Joining us via Skype from LA is journalist and political commentator Jasmine Koenig, uh, who has been tracking this story from the beginning. Now, Jasmine, uh, this radio station apologized first, then he comes back and apologizes. Uh, he just got put into some Hall of Fame. Uh, and so this was a forced apology. Well, a couple of things. It was two weeks too late. And in addition to that, it was a pre-taped apology as he was jet-setting across the country to be inducted into the National Radio Hall of Fame. You have to remember, Handel's original comments were made on live radio. And when he doubled down, he made those comments on live radio. So to offer a regurgitated, pre-recorded apology, um, it seems really disingenuous. And I don't think a lot of people are buying it. Um, as you know, one of the local papers here in LA, the LA Weekly noted, you know, uh, the afternoon hosts on that very same station were suspended for one week in 2012 when they called Whitney Houston a crack, and I don't want to say the other word. So to have your morning host, right, your your prize gem of your lineup, just get away with an apology into a pre-taped apology in 2017 seems completely backwards. At the very least, Handel has to be suspended. At the very least, I think iHeartMedia and KFI owe that not only to us as listeners, but just to Americans, period, who are fed up with that kind of language. Uh, numerous folks, of course, have been calling him out. The members of Congress have been doing so others as well, and so the station has been under intense, intense scrutiny and criticism as a result of his comments for the last two weeks. Apparently not enough, though, that they would think that putting on a pre-recorded apology would suffice. You understand what I'm saying? Right. That is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I could maybe see if he did, he apologized live on the air. Handel wasn't even on the radio last Thursday when that played. He was flying to Cleveland to get inducted into the National Radio Hall of Fame. So I don't think, at least not for me, I don't find that apology very sincere at all. And again, like I said, this is 2017. This is not 2012. You suspended folks before for using that language. What makes Handel so special that he can get away with pre-taping an apology? I heard media and KFI can definitely do better, and they have to do better. And what's next for you and others who are supporting uh, action against him at the station? What's next for me? I'm going to continue to follow the story. I know that Color of Change has initiated a petition calling for aspiring just last week. Um, one of the fraternities echoed that call, and so did the California State Conference of the NAACP. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens. I know a lot of black civil rights leaders here in Los Angeles are trying to get a meeting with Handel as well as management over at the station to discuss this issue. 
All right. Yes, mechanic. We appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't gonna cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.